Hi everyone, I'm going to show you some of my artwork. I've had a few comments um, left saying they'd like to see some of my work. Um, I've got a few projects on the go at the minute but nothing is finished. So I'm going to show you, this is my box of projects um, from 2009. So I'm going to go through some of them. I'm not going to go through all the techniques and materials used um, in that much detail because they're on my blog. So if you visit my blog which is www.creativeflight.blogspot.com um, you'll be able to find most of these projects on there if you want any more detail. So I'm going to start with this one here. This is a wall hanging that I created and it uses um, fabric in the background which has been um, stapled on with the, the lace and things to give it sort of a, a grungy vintage look and the little squares here were covered in um, it's actually phone directory I don't know if you can pick that up and then they were painted so it's got like a texty background then tons of little embellishments added to that and one of these really cute hangers and if anybody knows um, a place where you can get these in the UK this was um, a gift I got a set of three sent to me as a, a gift from a friend um, but the place where she got them from they stopped selling them now so if you do know a place in the UK um, or in the US if it's got cheap enough shipping um, I'd really love to get some more of these so please leave a comment okay um, I've got also a fair amount of flat pages in here which I'm going to bind into books but they were mostly for online art challenges um, where they specify either a theme or a size or sometimes both so there's a lot of postcard size ones like this one here um, some 4x4s, some skinny pages which are 3 by 5 um, and various other ones so this one was for a flight theme um, it was when the new Adirondack colours came out so the background uses clover and one of the newer blue colours, I can't remember which one it was from the bright set I think and then it was stamped over with white and then I did some collage images and some grunge board there which is also been stamped on um, I'll put also, I use a lot of vintage collage images um, and digital images that I've bought so I'll put some links in the sidebar for those if anybody's interested in, in buying them this one here is an altered um, beer mat and what I did is I covered it, well firstly I got some um, metallic silver card and ran it through my cuddle bug and then covered the beer mat and applied some alcohol inks and then used a little slide mount which I stamped and coloured and I did a little acetate image there, vintage image, some grunge board and fibres at the top. This is another postcard which will have been made for a challenge. Um, various stamps in the background there another digital image and you'll see from most of these I don't tend to use um, commercially bought paper very much not for a whole background anyway I tend to make my own backgrounds with inks and paints and, and various stamps um, which is what I like doing this one this is the skinny size which is 3 by 5 unfortunately this challenge blog is uh, finished now um, but these were quite fun to make. This one has um, a metal edging to it, so it was just the an aluminium, sticky back aluminium, and then I used a embossing tool just to create some texture into it, and then added some um, black acrylic to grunge it up a bit, and make it look a bit more vintage. And another collage image and quote. Four by four page. This one background was Tim Holtz inks for this one, and a script stamp. Um, actually it's postcard stamp I can see that I've stamped on there I think the colours were tea dye and weathered wood on there and another collage image 4x4 four four page I think the theme for this one was film stars so I did one with Elizabeth Taylor and put the stars and a little dymo um, word there that says star and the image is Elizabeth Taylor couple more 4x4 four four pages, again inked background, Dirndack inks on this one, um, stamped images and some collage image and pre-mat. This, one, this one's got a quite a, an interesting background technique to it. Um, if you can see the pattern there, which is glimmery as well, um, 
basically you lay your inks onto your cardstock, you spray your inks onto the cardstock uh, rather and you need quite a pool of inks and then you get some cling film and scrunch it up and then sort of open it out a bit, lay it on top and sort of scrunch it a bit so that there's, there's wrinkles in it and you let it dry like that and I can't remember how I did this one but I obviously put some metallic -y, uh, glimmery spray into it because it's got that sheen and then when it's dry you get that lovely pattern and it's ready to use. A postcard, I think the theme for this one was hats so it's got some torn paper, um, some stamped images on there as well and the collage image. Uh, another 4x4, four four. I do love this this stamp here which says damaged in a sea of tears. I've not used it that often but I really like it and it's silver ink in the background there for a script and some crackle as well. This is one of my favourite pieces whoops, from last year. It's a postcard that was created again for a, the postcard challenge site um, and the theme was black and white for this one so I used some um, book page in the background, I don't know if you can see that and then painted that, over painted it with white so it faded the, the text away and used the Tim Holtz mask um, and then some black soot ink over that and around it an image and really like this raw time stamp which is from Paper Artsy from their Urban Snapshots collection and some Seven Gypsies keys on there as well uh, a couple more little 4x4s this one does use um, a commercially made paper in the background it's got little rocking horses on it um, and I grunged it up with some white paint over the top and some little um, corner pieces that's German scrap that was originally gold and I've just added um, acrylic paint over it to grunge it up so it's a espresso and burnt sienna I think are the, are the colours there and another 4x4 four where the theme was wings I think, I'm guessing um, really like the backgrounds on this one this is Sticky Fingers Colour Wash Sprays which the two that I used, the Poppy and the Lilac they don't have shimmer, they're just a, a regular colour spray but I did add gold over the top of that which is where all the shimmer comes from and then stamped the script and stamped the little images and added the main image there which is a, a digital collage image and I'm going to show you this one as well. This was created for a challenge called Mixed Media Monday and the theme was mermaids for this. Um, so what I did is I found this absolutely gorgeous image on the internet. Um, so I printed that image out um, and I used a laser printer for that. I've got a laser printer and an inkjet and a laser printer, the advantage is that your colours won't run when you add various sprays and mediums over them so that was laser printed and then just to protect it I added a layer of gel medium over the top which is where you can see that that shine and then around it to get this textured effect it's basically um, tissue paper that I coloured um, I sprayed it with sticky finger sprays and aqua and um, a greenish colour as well and then I sort of glued it on um, using gel medium, sort of scrunching it around as I went so it, it formed this texture. And then over the top of that, um, I added some Lumia paint in um, pearl. So you've got this sort of pearl shimmer uh, going on in places there. And over that, I added various things. There's some... Um, the shiny stuff here which sparkles is fantasy film so that's sort of torn and then I use my heat gun um, once I've glued it down use my heat gun to make it all wrinkly and then there's um, cheesecloth and suspended in the cheesecloth there's little shells and pearls all around there and again sprayed and bits of the, the pearl paint over there and there's also little accent beads, I don't know whether you can see those, you can see them better on the image there but they are all around so there's lots of glimmer, lots of texture on that piece so that is one of my favourites from last year and I'm going to leave it there because I'm out of time but I will do a part two and show some more okay please leave a comment, bye bye